No, that's that's definitely the the thing that we're moving into now is is definitely trying to knock down those doors and and see what opportunities is available. This guy is 23 years, and Christian Rasmussen, your next champion for the IndyCar Feeder Series, joining us here at the Freak Nation. 23 years ago, we started this thing, Christian, and I. Um, I'd be lying to you if I thought we'd have some dude from Copenhagen that's damn near won everything that's 23 years old and has earned his scholarship to go IndyCar racing. It's pretty fantastic, my friend. Are you going to take that money and go directly to Dale Coyne since you won that championship with Dale Coyne? We'll see. Um, I'm kind of open for for the opportunities that 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 I get. Uh, you know, it, it it's kind of starting to to close down fairly quickly. Um, so I have a test coming up with Ed Carpenter this Monday. Um, so we'll see where that leads. Um, so that's an opportunity. Dale Corn is an opportunity. I like to keep my my options open for now. Listen to you, man. You're already a freak. Imagine you're sitting up in the corner with your feet up on a chair and a big fat cigar. All these owners are rolling through, begging you to come join them with all this damn money. Is that how it's working? Not quite how it's working. Um, unfortunately, I would love to be in that position. That's not really where I am. Um, but even though that seats can seem open, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the IndyCar world and, and stuff can close down very, very quick. So, um yeah, we'll just see. Uh, I'll just kind of—it's kind of a waiting game right now, seeing what opportunities uh, is staying open and uh, and what what I can do with with my prize award that I get from from the Indy Next Series. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Christian, I don't want to harbor on this too much, but is it kind of a weird position to be in? I mean, you are the Indy Next champion. You won it with Dale Coin Racing. Would it be odd if you did not give that money to them because they do have a potential opening? Or is it just, that's just the nature of the beast and you can go wherever you want. I think that's a little bit of the nature of racing. You know, I got to do what I think is best for my career. Uh, obviously, I have had a great relationship with HMD Dale Coin this year. Uh, and they have been great for me in, in Indy Next. Um, if that's going to be the same position in IndyCar, I don't know yet. Maybe. Uh, I won't say I won't say no. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm looking to, to, to explore all, all the options that I have and, and see what, what's the best fit for me. We're talking with Christian Rasmussen, of course, the Indy Next 2023 champion, joining us here in the Freak Nation on a Sunday night. And it's pretty impressive that, only you and Kyle Kirkwood can say that you have won at every level of the IndyCar feeder series in the history of this series. That's just blowing my mind right now. But we would be remiss if we didn't bring up that part of that was with Jay Howard Racing, Jay Howard Driver Development. We are here in the Lucas Oil Studios. Jay Howard is a huge partner with Lucas Oil. Can you talk about how that was in? just so crucial for you for your upbringing and how that led to your success into the next level and how it will lead into IndyCar. No, it has been absolutely forming career from, from day one, I stepped into the United States. So after 2017, I did a uh, Danish F4. I was kind of looking at my options uh, around the world and kind of see where am I going to get from where I am now to get a professional career in racing uh using the least amount of money possible so my family is a very regular working class family from from denmark and we can't come up with with the same kinds of budgets that uh, then a lot of these other drivers can come up with so we looked to the united states where these uh this scholarship system was in place and looked that as a great opportunity for me to progress my um, my racing career without us having to find a full budget each year. So moved to, to the United States in 2018 uh, at the age of, yeah, I was, I was 17, turning 18 that year. Um, got into uh, USF4, uh, did the first year in, in that and kind of realized that if you want to go anywhere in the United States, you got to be in the road to Indy. So the year after that, uh, I moved up with Jay uh, to USF2000. Um, won the championship the following year in, in 2020. And that was really what got me started on this whole thing. Like I would not have been able to move up to USF Pro 2000 the year after without that scholarship that I won. 
Um, hmm. And it was the same story that the year after that. If I didn't win the, the USF Pro 2000 Championship in 2021, I would not have been able to, to move, it, move up into Indy Next. So that's really what has been, been furthering my career so far. And this is that's really the only reason why I have gotten this far in racing um, is because of all the scholarship that's been available. So it, it was the, definitely the right move uh, for me at the end of 2017. Uh, and yeah, just been loving it ever since. Why do you think it has taken so long in the history of open wheel racing in America for this to make sense? Was it Jay Howard himself just putting his foot down saying, we've got to do this for our younger drivers? Uh, so the, the whole scholarship system is is set in place by, at the time, uh, Dan Anderson and Anderson Promotion and, uh, and IndyCar for, uh, for, for Indy Next. Um, so they are the, really the one that have this system in place. Uh, obviously, Jay has has kind of come through the same the same that I did, um, and is obviously a huge believer in the the scholarship system. So for me, it was very natural to to stay with Jay, uh, move up with Jay, even though that our USF Pro 2000 campaign was uh, a rookie career for me, but also a rookie season for for jay stepping up into a new series so um yeah we knew we 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 had a good idea that that we could do it uh, and it worked out Whatever you do, General Tire delivers. The weekend you've been waiting for is back. Are you ready to feel the ground shake? Are you ready for the sound of thunder? Are you ready for an adrenaline pumping three second thrill ride? The NHRA Camping World Drag Racing Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway. See legendary superstars John Forrest, Ron Cass, Tim Wilkerson, Robert Heiding, and Tron Brown barreling out for the countdown for the championship. September 29th through October 1st. Go to www.raceway.com to get your tickets now. Christian Rasmussen, Indy Next Champion was born, as I remember, four days after we did our first show. <laughs> yep. so you've grown up in the freak nation, for crying out loud. <laughs> I can imagine, um, Christian, that somewhere along the line, you had to bring some money to the table and said, hey, give me that car. Is that the way it happened? Or you mentioned scholarships. Has it always been scholarships that bumped you along? Yeah, so for the first part of my career obviously we had to to fund it ourselves and making the move to the united states in the first first uh first year or this first and second year we had to find full budgets myself um so through sponsors through good deals with with, with jay howard and and an investor from from back home in denmark uh, we were able to you know give us that first push uh, that got us into uh, winning the scholarships, and but the sco after that, the scholarships has really been the main source of uh, my budget for the for the following year. So this is really this year was was really the first year in a while where we went into this season without a full budget, and we went into this oh. year knowing that we were going to be competitive or having a good idea that we were going to be competitive. I had race wins in my uh, my season with Andretti Autosport last year and obviously you stepped up with HMD Motorsports as the, the championship winning team. So we knew going into the season that we were going to have a good shot at it, but I also didn't know if I would have or been able to to find the budget during the year to, to finalize the year. So actually three times um, – over the course of the year, I have been less than 24 hours of, of losing my seat just because that we couldn't find the budget. So we've kind of had to, to, you know, push through that uh, and get it done. And I've been saved on uh, on the, the finish line a few times now by, by investors, both back home in Denmark, but also over here in the United States. Uh, and then working with HMD Motorsports and kind of putting myself in the position to, to win the championship, I think definitely helped. 
as well. And, and that's kind of how we've been able to, to finish the year. I think we talked to a former, the, the, the guy who won the championship last year, Lundquist, and he was having some trouble. He had to bang on a lot of doors to finally get a ride with Ganassi, I believe. Are you, have you, uh, you do a lot of weight training. Have you done some weight training on your knuckles to not bang on enough doors <laughs> to get some attention? No, that's that's definitely the the thing that we're moving into now is is definitely trying to knock down those doors and and see what opportunities is available. Uh, I think Linus is. I think I'm in a little bit better position than Linus is just because that our uh, prize award from this year is is bigger than what Linus got. Um, so obviously that gives me a little more more leverage. Uh, I think also. Lean is coming in and doing as well with uh, with Maya Shank this year as he did. Um, really helped all the Indian X guys in, in, in their position, stepping up, just showing everyone that, you know, uh, the Indian X champions, champion uh, and the Indian X drivers are, are forces to, to be reckoned with uh, and that they can step up and, and do as well as they can, even without having a lot of time in the car. Yeah. Well, this is awesome. Hey, Christian, welcome to your first time in the Freak Nation. Maybe your last, you know? <laughs> Who knows? I hope not. But, right. You know, that's uh, up to you guys. Typically, <laughs> when you win an IndyCar race, you're here in the Freak Nation. All right, buddy? Bad well, I, I hope I will be back then. Got a boy. Yeah. Christian, thank you for doing this, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys. At Lucas Oil, we take pride in creating problem-solving products to make your car care easier. We protect your vehicle and make it run longer so you can focus on the things that matter most. Whether it's commuting to work, visiting a loved one, taking the kids where they need to go, going to the big game, or anywhere life takes you, Lucas Oil is committed to getting you there for all of life's important moments. Lucas Oil, it works.